with recent polls showing nearly 75 percent of those asked think that President Biden is too old to run for re-election. The question, if he, not Biden, then who should the Democrats nominate for president? Well, two of those mentioned Governor J.B. Pritzker and Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer. And what do you know? Both of them shared the same stage today in New York. NBC Fox political reporter Marianne Ahern has more on why this is so significant, Marianne. Stephan and Allison, first of all, both Pritzker and Whitmer, they do support President Biden. At the same time, they are two of the Democratic governors on the short list as ready if perhaps President Biden chooses not to run. Governor Pritzker and Governor Whitmer to the stage. Governor J.B. Pritzker and Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer share the stage with former Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton to highlight an issue Democrats see as key to the 2024 election, abortion rights. I think this is a real issue in 2024, even if you heard a lot about it in 2022. We can't rest. We can't assume it's over because it is not. Whitmer and Pritzker's appearance today also raises questions about their own political aspirations. North Central College political science professor Stephen Maynard Caliendo. Is this really about uh, positioning uh, some Democratic leaders in case something happens that uh, President Biden is not able to run for re-election? This is a moment where our fight must stretch beyond Michigan and reach the entire country. This summer, Whitner has initiated a new political action committee with a national focus. Pritzker has delivered speeches in New Hampshire and Florida. They're not the only governors mentioned as perhaps interested in stepping in if Biden does not run. There's California's Governor Gavin Newsom and Pennsylvania's Josh Shapiro. You do nothing to hold the insurance companies to, to task. And of course, there is Vice President Kamala Harris, as well as the others who ran in 2020. Pete Buttigieg, Senators Bernie Sanders, Amy Klobuchar, and Cory Booker. Hillary Rodham Clinton! Could it come down to the roll call on the final night of the Democratic convention? The DNC here in Chicago next August. That's when the delegates make it official as to who is the nominee. This is one possible scenario. If uh, the delegates that are pledged uh, to President Biden uh, are released because President Biden has chosen by that point not to run, uh, then there will be a vote. Of course, at this point, that is speculation. There are two announced Democrats running against President Biden. That is Robert Kennedy Jr. and Marianne Williamson. With primaries just four months away, it is not that easy to get on the ballot. It takes signatures and petitions in each state. It is not an overnight undertaking. President Biden is the candidate, but there is still this underlying conversation. Yeah. Just when you thought the Republican side was just full of candidates, possibly the Democrats. There, there's side. a bench waiting. Okay. You've got your work cut out for you. That's what it is. Yes, she does. <laughs> What's going on?